The new Copilot Workflows agent will automate your job and today I'll show you step by step how to use it. If you use Outlook, Teams or SharePoint, you'll want to learn how to use this simple AI tool to your advantage at work. My name is Shervin Shafi and I'm a Copilot Principal Engineer at Microsoft. Welcome to Collaboration Simplified. Let's look at a few slides to level set before we do the build. Building apps, flows, and agents in Microsoft 365 Copilot. We actually have three different applications. There's the App Builder workflows in the center, which we're gonna focus on today, and also Copilot Studio, both the light and the full version. And the idea here is that you're basically using natural language and leveraging the Microsoft 365 Copilot license for businesses and enterprises to automate your workflows. In the past, I've actually done a lot of content on Copilot Studio. And what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna take one of those agents that I built in Copilot Studio, that autonomous email agent, and we're gonna rebuild it using workflows. Now, the key with these tools is that they're basically all conversational AI building tools, meaning that they work in the flow of your work. You can use your words to tell these tools what to do. They can be used for yourself, personal, and your extend out to your team as well, so you can include them. They already have access to your M365 applications and your data, and they leverage the security and compliance of the Microsoft 365 Copilot ecosystem. Now, more specifically, this workflows agent allows you to automate your workflows between applications like Teams and Outlook and SharePoint and approvals and Planner. And together, we're gonna to build an example of this right now. Okay, so let's get started. I've already logged into my Microsoft 365 Copilot. I basically opened up a browser and I've gone to this site over here. The first thing you're gonna do is go over here to where it says Explore Agents and select that. And this takes you to the agent store. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see all these agents built by Microsoft. And this one right here is the Workflows agent. Notice that these two, the App Builder and Workflows, are part of this Frontier program. And for those of you who are not familiar with that, that is the step before things become generally available. Now, when you select this Workflows agent over here, you have the option of adding it to your profile. So we're just gonna go ahead and select Add. All right, so here it is, and it just popped up for me, and I can see also that it shows up under Agents on this left rail here. So now I have the Workflows agent. It gives you a few built-in options right away. Like for example, if I select this, this is a prompt that you can type in about emails that are unread. So it says each weekday morning, review all the unread emails and you can try this out. I'm not gonna try this out, but you can certainly try it out. That autonomous email agent that I built in the past. So for those of you who remember, inside Copilot Studio, I created this inbot and the inbot scans all my messages that are coming in and it uses different knowledge sources and automatically responds to all the emails. So every time a new email comes in, which is the trigger, it has a set of instructions, which are over here. It has a bunch of knowledge sources, and then it uses this tool, which is sending an email, and it answers emails for me automatically, which is quite awesome. We can replicate this. We're gonna go back to this workflows agent, and what I've done is I've written up the prompt, what the prompt says, if we expand this out, is when a new email comes into my inbox, check to see if any questions are directed at me. If they are, use all available knowledge sources, both internal and external, to research the questions that are in the email. Reply using email to me with detailed responses based on your research. Do not respond to the sender because I wanna make sure that it looks okay. Right? If you're really brave, you can just send it right away to the sender. Make sure the email is formatted in HTML, respond in a professional manner, and write it as if you were replying to the sender's email. For each question, start a new paragraph and write a detailed response to include links to all the references to use. The more verbose, detailed, and factual, and illustrative, the better, and include diagrams where appropriate. Sign off with regards followed by my name and make sure the original email is included at the end of the email. And then send me a Teams message with a summary of who sent the email and what their questions were 
and a brief summary of what you responded to. So this is new. I didn't have this in my autonomous, but I'm leveraging workflows to get a Teams message update as well. So this is creating this autonomous agent with a trigger. So when we go ahead and execute it, you'll see that it's plugging everything in that I had to build manually inside Copilot Studio. So in Copilot Studio, I did everything here manually, but now I'm doing it automatically inside this workflows agent, which is what I think is super awesome actually. So here you can see that it's creating a trigger for when a new email arrives in my inbox. It is analyzing the emails for questions, and then it's researching the questions, then it's sending an email back to me so that I can proof it before I send it to whoever sent it to me. And it's sending me a team's summary so that I can see what it did because I might be more active on teams. So now, if we go scroll up again, it's telling me everything that it did and all the assumptions that it made. So check those and if something is not right, give it more instructions. And so then if everything looks good, go ahead and click save. Now this time when it saves it, it's not gonna actually do something because it only gets triggered when new emails get sent to it. So we're gonna lob an email into it and see what it does. But before we do, I wanna show you one thing that I have set up on my Outlook because I don't wanna create a loop because every time a new email comes in from the agent, coming if it came into my inbox, this, it would trigger it and then it would respond to it and it would trigger it so it would create this crazy loop. I've gone to my mail, I've gone to rules and I've created this rule, this inbot rule that says, hey, every time an email comes from me, because the agent's acting on my behalf, so it's gonna send it from me, move it to this folder, to this inbot folder. So I had this previously, but I can leverage it for this workflows agent as well. Okay, so from another computer, I'm just lobbing in an email with a bunch of questions. So here it is. And it basically says, hello, Albert, you're so smart and it was great meeting you. Can, we, can you tell me more about Copilot Studio and how can I build agents? How are agents priced and what license do I need? I'm also interested in M365 Copilot for productivity. If we go to this agent that we just created and we click on activity, you can see that it's running right now. And if I select it, you can see that it's gonna start working through the trigger got executed, it's analyzing the email for questions, it's researching the questions, and then it's actually telling you how all the information of it, what it gathered as it researched it it's gonna send the email using this action and then eventually it's also gonna send me a report on Inside Team. And actually, if we go to my inbox now, here it is and there's actually a number one here. So there's a new email and it just came in. This is the email. It's got the answers to the questions. So the first question was, can you tell me more about Copilot Studio and how I can build agents? And it's giving me a response as well as a hyperlink here how are agents priced and it's using metrics such as the number of interactions and APIs and it has information on studio pricing and then what license do I need gives you some information about the licenses I'm also interested in Copilot for productivity what new features are there so it's giving me some information about the features as well as the M365 Copilot blog and then it's including the original email as I asked it. So we also asked it to send us a message inside Teams. So let's go ahead and open up Teams and see if the Workflows agent did that for us as well. Inside Teams, if you look on the left-hand side, you have your typical chats, but there's also messages that get sent by this Workflows agent right over here. So with that selected, you can see that there was an email summary sent over here. It says, who sent the email, what the questions were, and also a brief summary of all the responses. So that's excellent, that's exactly what we asked. So not only are you getting that beautiful email that's crafted that you can just send it to the sender, but you're also getting status updates inside Teams. Now I hope you found this video useful. I would love to know how you end up using the Workflows agent and what are some of the cool prompts or use cases that you come up with across all the different applications. And as always, if you found this video useful, make sure to give it a like, consider subscribing, 
and in the future we can do a session on the app builder because that's essentially the only one that I haven't covered to this day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.